aren't just looking at it like, damn, I got two badass people I can have sex with. A lot of it deals with emotional. Yes. Um, it, it be a lot of people that seek a lot of attention, and they be needing a lot of love. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they be needing that shit all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? So it's just different reasons of why mm -hmm. you you got to have somebody that's willing to do it with you. Because if you got one part that's, man, I don't know, but they doing it to shut you up, it's not, not it's gonna not going to work. work. Because they, it, they initially said that they didn't want to do it. Right. Yeah. Right. So it, it's... It gotta be something that they're comfortable with doing. Okay, so y'all need to but have a class. But her just having a side chick to go back to your question or whatever. Fuck no, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause I I want to know. You know what I'm saying? Like no, I'm not comfortable with it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't finna have no side chick and all that shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But if it's something that we mutually came up with, you know what I'm saying? Like. You know, if I'm having a flare-up for months and I'm just, like, feeling so bad, like, I know Bae deserve pussy. You know what I'm saying? I might get her a pussy pass. You see what I'm saying? Thing and be mean. like, Bae, here go you a pussy pass. But knowing my wife, she don't even be want to take that. That's cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, that just <laughs> probably builds some type of bond between, like, oh, she ain't even want that pussy. I try to get it. <laughs> my love, Bae. I do be like that, though. <laughs> so you don't want a pussy pass. So, yeah. what you feel about it? Like, can your mate have a side chick? Mm-hmm. Be honest. I've been in an actual situation like that. Um, what? I have. Uh, I don't... I, I guess for me, I don't be threatened by no other female. But no, do I, do I really like it or agree with it? No. I would much rather have a poly relationship. Yeah. Because I would want to have the perks of that other woman too mm -hmm. you know and and being um in not intimate but just having that attraction to another person and knowing that my spouse is attracted to them too that's a turn on for me it's, it's a little bit of that voyeurism mm -hmm. so um i'm all for poly me too team poly yes yeah so i just i feel like a lot of people need to educate themselves because um they have a lot of conventions and stuff that mm -hmm. you know you can learn like, people really live this way. Yes. You know, you might see a big-ass family and be thinking that that's Jane friend and all alone that's their girlfriend. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you like, you know, you, know, you, like, you like, damn, I thought that was the nanny. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. damn, and she really was their girlfriend. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just, <laughs> it's all about how you carry yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, really, really. Now, you know, a, a, a lot of people, a lot of people would be mad like they out in the opening, they telling everybody, but my mama always taught me if you ashamed of what you're doing, you ain't got no no, no, business, no business doing it. Absolutely you know what not. I'm saying? Um, and another thing is, like, I'm not ashamed of what I'm into. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I could be discreet. Yes, I ain't got to tag her and post all the time or no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But it's okay to be yourself. And that's what the box is basically trying to spread to everybody that being yourself is all right. You know what I'm saying? Because when you stay in a shell and you like, well, I'm into this shit. I don't have nobody to talk to because people going to think I'm weird, I'm freaky, Absolutely. and you holding all this stuff in and you ain't got nobody to talk to. Guess what? You, your ass going to have a nervous breakdown because you holding so much shit in mm -hmm. that you really want to talk about. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I, I thank God that you know they have some groups out here that you can actually be yourself in. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's just... The box, we're not a closed group. We're out in the opening. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So you could be yourself on my page. You could be yourself on Isis page. You could be yourself on Mr. Book Tissing page. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like it, get the fuck on. Stop rolling down my timeline, right. motherfucker. That goes you know what I'm saying? That's what I said in the beginning. Yeah, because I'm telling you, as soon as somebody shit. say something ignorant, I'm going in on that ass. Like, why are you even on this motherfucking post? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, when you read it, you knew that the post wasn't for you, but you want to be nosy and go to the motherfucking comments and see why this motherfucking has said this or why they didn't say that. And them little bitty eyes that y'all motherfuckers be posting, I'm going to start deleting that shit, you look. Look at motherfuckers. Goddamn, say something. Don't be just posting them damn eyes. Say something. Let me know you digging this post. Let me know that you into this shit. Because when you just looking at shit, I'm going to feel a certain way. Because I'm going to feel like you looking for somebody and you going to tell somebody else. Absolutely. You see what I'm saying? So if y'all post them eye emojis, I'm going to delete that shit. 
<laughs> so you you willing to you I, really want? I'm willing. I'm saying like from a girlfriend. Cause like I said, like I'm really interested in the, in the poly side. Of okay, so tell me why. Because you know what I'm saying like <clears throat> I think it might be because you know what I'm saying I'm I'm faithful. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I got. That's you ignorant. <laughs> Somebody posted the ass. <laughs> Hell no. Who posted the ass? Shell. Yeah. This is so silly. But, see, it's like a. I don't know. I, I'm okay with being with two women. I've, I've had threesomes before. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I know. I, I'm pretty sure. I ain't going to say I know, but I am pretty sure that it is. But mm -hmm. I just know what I'm saying. I feel like. It would be a an asset more than, you know what I'm saying, not just for the sexual purpose, but you know what I'm saying, that too, because then if you were to not be with the person that you've been with, at least they know who you've been with. Okay, so would you be able to... Juggle those emotions. Yeah, would you be able yeah. to handle and satisfy both women? Like, because it's a job itself, yeah. because you got to keep both of them satisfied. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? You know, book testing is a job. And you know, women, we have emotions anyway. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we, we going to feel a certain way, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, depending on what the situation is. You know, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm a jealous person or something like that. You know what I'm saying? My wife might say something or do something, and I just be like, damn. You know what I'm saying? But that don't mean that I'm not okay with it. It just probably made me feel a certain way. So would you be able to satisfy two women, and I ain't just talking about dick? No, like, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Like, all the way, mentally, physically. Because you know if you if you buy bae some. Yeah, you got to buy both bae. That's just yeah. like with children. Yeah. You can't just go and get yeah. one child and then yeah. bring it back home. Everybody needs someone. Don't nobody So you would be able to do that? Yeah. Because okay. that's what I want y'all. I mean, I need them to make sure that they... Take so care. when y'all cut her at night. Oh, I got two big arms. <laughs> I, I got a nice size chin thing look like with <laughs> They can throw a leg on each leg, yeah. both can use a hand, we yeah. good. Absolutely. Look, it's possible though, I'm telling you. Yeah, the yeah. only thing they know so they gonna have to know that I ain't eating no ass in the beginning. Like I'm gonna have to <laughs> come to some type of agreement. Like that's gonna have to be a clause. <laughs> If you come to me with that bullshit, talking about eating your that ass in the, in the country, your ass is out the door. Like, <laughs> that's, that's like Alabama being like, at will state. <laughs> we can at will your ass. Yes. Here, talking about okay, your so ass. I'm going to make sure I put that in your country. Okay. Okay. No ass eating. No ass eating. <laughs> Not that's on the first year. Hello, y'all. You right. And get what? I'll be a, I'm talking about a full support. You're going to support I'll support yeah. me. I you support both of them. And you better eat, eat it for ass. me, too. <laughs> Yeah. Act like you home with us. <laughs> but see, I'm so crazy. When I tell baby to eat her ass while I eat her pussy. Hey. You get what I'm hey. saying? Yeah. Hey. Well, I knew you was my long lost brother. <laughs> see, that, that's what it is. Look, y'all will be so having so much fun. Hell yeah. And that's what I'm trying to do. I just want to enjoy life. Absolutely. Because I kind of know what I'm saying. Get on the downside. I'm 38 now. My mother was 38 when she was diagnosed mm -hmm. with breast cancer. Mm hmm. Five years later, she passed. And it's mm -hmm. just like, man, you got at this five-year stretch now, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I ain't really scared of nothing, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. but God himself. But it's like, that's kind of like a scary feeling. Absolutely. So, I just want to live. Trust me. So, you got to eat some Fuck that. Because <laughs> I was going to say, you know, I, feel, I, feel the same, I feel the same thing you feel. And a lot of people don't know um, breast cancer can attack guys as well. Yes, I know that because my mama is a two-time survivor of breast cancer. And um, guys have to be checked as Absolutely. well. Um, and a lot of people don't know that. So I understand that. And that's the way that I think. And a lot of people don't understand that because I'm just like, man, you never know. You know what I'm saying? You don't yeah. want to die tomorrow and you haven't. You know, I'm not telling you to like, like live just this wild ass life, but experience the things that you want to experience. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Live the life that you want to live. Because guess what? You only have one God that you have to answer to. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't understand that you don't have to have any type of recognition from anybody else. Like, don't nobody else got to tell you, you can't do that. You can do that. You can't, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. they ain't paying your bills. They ain't the reason why you waking up or going to sleep. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, and a lot of people fail to realize that. Um, hey, hey. And that's just the way. Yourself. Huh? But they need to make sure they're 
Absolutely. Oh, yeah. And I, I just want to say this. We're not telling anyone to go out here and start living these poly relationships or eating ass or anything <laughs> that we talk about. Because I don't want y'all blaming a box for y'all situations. You see what I'm saying? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not our fault. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? We're just open to you being yourself. Yeah. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? You just you just ain't an ass eater. You know I'm what I'm saying? Not. But if somebody quickly eat ass, they always been an ass eater. That's just something that they wanted to do. So they can't blame the box in episode 25 but now, for eating ass. If, if I get that poly relationship and just say, you know what I'm saying, like I'm in it for a while, then hey. Do you it. never know. Yeah. You never know. But just not right now. Yeah, I and understand that's perfectly it. Fine. I mean, you can't go around eating everybody's ass. Hell no. Hell yeah. What's a little while? A little while. What's a little while? I say about a year. A year. Man, I you gotta, gotta make sure she watch that ass. You gotta when, make sure her when you, hygiene on shit. Yeah, because when like, she first meets you, you know she's gonna be hitting that tub. But then when she get comfortable, you'll be like, damn, yeah, I ain't know this. Yeah, I ain't know this bitch don't hit the tub regularly. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Can't yeah, see that's that bullshit. Or have that ass. shitty breath and things mm-hmm. like I'm that. Say, yeah. I got to say, I'm like, nah, I know damn well you know you ain't wipe your ass before you came over. Here. But let me ask you this: So have you ever ate pussy and then just left without washing your face or brushing your teeth? Yeah. You have. have. Let me and you like, was talking to folks with you know pussy saying? on no, your. No, no, no. Like this: If I'm, if I'm, if I'm gonna eat pussy, and I ain't gonna brush my teeth or something. That's because I probably came over your house late that night. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cheering with sleep or whatever. So, I might have just gave his head and dip. Because mm-hmm. I ain't really want to get out into it. And, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, this flavor saver is here for a reason. Like, I ain't trying to wash my flavor off before I get home. Yeah. Motherfucker, I want to taste you on my way home. Okay, then. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Shit, I might put in the driveway. <laughs> But the, but listen, the reason why I asked you this, Mario, because I seen somebody make a post. I know this kind of off subject, <laughs> but the post was, <laughs> I feel like people shouldn't kiss their kids. <laughs> and you know what? That's what kind of kept me away for a while too. Cause oh, <laughs> like man, my little girls be wanting to kiss, and I'm like, they don't want to. Oh man, they was filthy last night. And like, so you know, it like. This post had got so many comments, y'all, and, like, the comments was really making sense because, you know, they was, like, naturally as a mother, you kiss, you know what I'm saying? But they, I guess they was, like, kissing in the mouth. You know, after a certain age, you not going to kiss your children in the mouth. Like, you ain't finna see me kissing my teenagers in the mouth. Or, you know, even my nine-year-old, she'll want to kiss me. Yeah. And, you know, I'd be like, you know what I'm saying, wait a minute or whatever. But it's naturally when you're parents or whatever. But... They was just saying, you know, and some people might not brush their teeth or wash their face. And I'm thinking to myself, I hope you ain't doing that and then going straight in the in, in the children's room. And, right. You oh, know no, what I'm saying? No. So that's why I was like, no, so how do you that, feel about for, that? That's for we all. Because I'm telling you, I done been to the club before and I'm like, I know I'm tripping. But it smelled like you life. just ate some pussy before you done walked up in this club or but ate some ass. But so I, I was just though. wondering, was that possible? That like, mean they ain't hit the tub before they ate that. Yeah. No, they I, probably could have ate it. Like you said in the car or something, like it's just yeah, before the tub. Yeah, but that pussy ain't supposed to have no smell. You can smell this. it. You know what I'm saying? If I got the pussy on my face, I'm and supposed to And I done swallowed about 20 times since yeah. I done got here. Yeah. That's a, that they no. Mm-hmm. Like that was some bad pussy and they mm-hmm. should have known better. Who can like, put their face in that? Though? Yeah, because if they pheromones, they be nah, strong. Like pheromones. everybody, pheromones don't smell. So the same. somebody pheromones smell like shit. I'm gonna need them to. I'm, I'm just, no, to, I'm just saying. It, some people might be loud. Oh, so now they got weed pussy. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want it. Give me some resin. <laughs> I don't want it. When they come to pussy, I want the rubber. Really, let me get some of that. I don't want the loud. Oh, don't send me no loud pussy. Keep that over gas pussy. Go to the next one. My, my bad. You know, I was just wondering. All right, so. <clears throat> Somebody said, don't come to me smell like cat. For real. Just nasty. So if your friends and your family did not approve of the person that you were with, would you continue to see that person or would you take heed to your family's and friends, why, why not? That's the question is for me. Right? Mm. But <laughs> I would, you know what I'm saying, like mostly another person would stay because it's like a rebellion. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when you're a child, your mom <laughs> don't tell you about who you don't need to be with, who you don't need yeah. to hang with, and you do it out of spite, yeah. out mm-hmm. of rebellion mm-hmm. because it's like the body wants to, well, 
the human curiosity wants to know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, why are you telling me I can't? Yeah. Right. You know, so yep. like, uh, I remember years ago, I was told not to be with this girl. And it was just like, I had to find out why you was telling me. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? If I would have listened, I probably would have been some different things from it is today. But 